people were injured in the raid. Well, let's talk live on the programme to Avi Melamed, who's a former Israeli Defence Force official and strategic intelligence analyst at Investigate Middle East. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Your assessment, first of all, about how depleted Hamas is after months of this war. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Hamas, uh, prior to this war, had some 24 armed battalions in Gaza Strip. As of now, to the, according to the Israeli reports coming from the field, some 20 uh, out of those 24 battalions of Hamas have been, to a large extent, crippled and disintegrated. So you can understand that Hamas sustained a very significant military strike, yet is still reserve some kind of like military operational capacities on the ground. Now, I mentioned in our introduction uh, what Israel has been saying, that uh, they have killed the head of operations in Hamas's internal security force. That's in this operation at al-Shifa. Last week, it was uh, being reported that Marwan Issa, uh, the deputy military leader of Hamas, had been killed in Gaza. How significant would that be if that turns out to be true? It's significant in the sense that it proves that Israel has an increasing uh, capacities of uh, gathering intelligence, accurate intelligence on the ground while it is in Gaza Strip to reach to Hamas senior leaders who are hiding in tunnels or disguised as civilians in hospitals and so on. And this is something that obviously concerned uh, Hamas leadership who is hiding under uh, the ground in tunnels and that intelligence capacity is increasing in time. You told the Guardian newspaper that Israel would have needed to know where and when Issa was hiding. They would have needed to confirm there were no Israeli captives nearby. Confirmation via a human asset. That was uh, the quote you used. Are you suggesting there is a mole high up in Hamas? Well, what I'm saying is that the more there is a friction between Israeli defense forces and Israeli intelligence agencies who are right now operating in Gaza Strip and the local Gaza people, some of them are from Hamas, some of them are not, there is a growing capacities and ability of Israel to gather intelligence. Um, and so I would say that the more Israel is on the ground, the more intelligence is streaming in, the more intelligence is streaming in, the more Israel has the ability to reach to Hamas leaders who are hiding under the ground. In terms of Hamas going forward, we heard again today from Benjamin Netanyahu his objectives, but US intelligence suggests that uh, they think that Hamas will be able to continue lingering armed resistance for years to come. Do you anticipate that that is probably the reality in the years ahead? I don't think that we are looking at years ahead. We will probably very much likely to see a month ahead. We will see continuation of Hamas remaining powers in the Gaza Strip to continue and to conduct some sort of like local operations. But it has to be clear, the more, the more Hamas military power will be crushed, the better are the odds for the Israelis and the Palestinians. And this is, I think, something that has to be very clear to the international community. Those talks are currently going on in Qatar. Uh, Hamas said to have had to drop that demand for a permanent ceasefire. Hamas needs a big victory uh, to sell to Palestinians. Uh, the suggestion is a lot of Palestinian prisoners, perhaps including uh, the popular uh, Marwan Baghouti, who's been in prison for, for decades. Do you think somewhere in that there is a formula for some sort of new truce? Yes, I think so. I mean, it's uh, like, uh, you know, it's currently a very tough negotiations going on. Israel will, of course, will have to release a, a significant number of uh, Palestinians that are imprisoned. But in that regard, we have to remember and be aware of the fact that there is a lot of criticism on Hamas in the Arab world. We actually turns to Hamas and says, even if you will bring the release of hundreds of maybe a couple of thousands of Palestinian prisoners, does it was really worth the price that Gaza yes. is paying? Uh, and does it worth the, the fact that you, Hamas, basically are going to end your rule in Gaza Strip? So I think there are different aspects of this equation. Avi Malamand, we have to leave it there. But uh, thank you so much for talking live to us here at BBC News. Thank you.